Hello everyone, uh, Andy here. Yeah, I know, a response video, but I kind of have to make it. And, um, yeah, this video is on a video by Krubbix. Krub Don't go attacking him. I'm just gonna merely deconstruct his points made in the video. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's look at the description before we actually get into the video. And if we look at the description, we can clearly see that in the section where he shows the tags of the video, that he put X Mocha X. That's scummy, especially considering that I didn't even do this. I don't even do this, sorry. Like, bruh, why? But today we're gonna discuss Getcha Life or Getcha Community, whatever you wanna call it. I am also going to discuss one of the Getcha YouTubers that I have known for a while, and uh, his name is Andy Gaming. Now, before I start criticizing this shit out of Andy, Andy, please, you know, reply to this video because I don't want your 3,000 of subscribers that are probably 12 years old and use fucking Getcha Life to fucking flip the table over me because I shared an opinion online. And See, what you're doing right now doesn't help, which is insulting them. Them for no particular reason other than, oh, they use gotcha life, so they deserve to be criticized, which is not a good criticism, by the way. Not only are you doing that, but you're also telling me to not respond to you. Uh, why'd you post this video if you didn't want me to respond to it? You made the video about me. I responded to videos about me. What did you expect? Now, first I want to talk about his masterpiece contents. Uh, I like how you show a video and make fun of it, but that video itself is making fun of itself for its laziness. Uh, great job there, you really got me with that one. But for real though, um, his content is boring as fuck. He doesn't even try to make his content entertaining, even though he does edit a tiny bit. I mean, that's not really anything special. And he honestly doesn't even put any background music in his videos. I like how I'm being criticized by a man who's talking over gameplay with minimal editing. Yeah. And also, I don't put background music in my stuff because, number one, if you have to put background music in your stuff, that just shows that you're kind of uninteresting. And, uh, you know, I don't really like putting background music in. I think it ruins the vibe and all that, so... I also want to mention the fact that he stutters a lot in his commentary videos and that he always uses predictable points. I use predictable points. No. It's almost like those are the criticisms and points I have with that thing. Gee, me having predictable points that I just want to voice out in a video with some funny editing to go along with it? Absurd. Predictable points in a commentary video that's not even meant to fully be about the points. <laughs> to counter the whole stuttering thing, listen. I know you're a perfectionist and all, but like, I feel that the stutters are perfectly fine. You're not gonna fucking die because of a stutter. No, I don't know if Andy is like autistic enough to fucking stutter as much as he does in his music. And then you gonna say that they ain't shit because they fucking, because they fucking gay bitch, wait shit. That you wasn't homophobic, that you wasn't- First off, I like how the most recent clip you can get of me stuttering in a song is seven months old. Really nice shot there. You really got me with that one. It's not at all like I don't do that anymore. But also, nice shot at me being autistic for no fucking reason. Like, oh, oh, I, I don't know if he's autistic enough to stutter as much as he does in his music. Like, what the fuck? Why mention autism? But other than that, his videos are mostly filled with the cringy ass gacha videos that make you want to fucking vomit and click off the video immediately. Yes, because that's what I'm talking about. I figured that would be kind of obvious. And also, have you never watched like a memeless commentary or a pyrocynical commentary or a leafy commentary in your life? 
Because that's literally what they do. Like, <laughs> what? Which probably explains why all of his videos have such low views compared to his sub counts. Or it could have to do with the fact that my first 700 subscribers subscribed because of Papyrus and Sans play Minecraft and I no longer make that type of video. And on top of that, when you get more popular, even if people are subscribed to you, that doesn't mean that they'll watch all of your content. In fact, they may subscribe to you but never watch your content again after they subscribe to you after watching one video. And overall, there's a lot of statistics and such that go into it, but there's multiple reasons on why my view counts are low compared to my sub count. And it's not just because of the video shown. The next point that I want to discuss is the fact that he always uploads 4 hour long videos. Obviously, there is nothing wrong with having long videos on your channel. But the thing is, these videos are very long and boring. And I don't think- The last point that I want to make about Andy before moving on to the gacha community is the fact that he's a snitch. One time he made a community post about his friend and he basically showed all of his his 3,000 of fucking gacha fans that are probably brain dead that his friend is homophobic. Ah, uh, my bad. I guess next time someone is homophobic, racist, or sexist out of my friends, I just won't call them out and attack them for it because it's not a good thing to do. My bad. I guess it's a bad thing that I'm doing that. I guess I'm just a snitch for doing that. Ah, uh, my bad. Oopsies. All he really showed is some Discord messages that just need more context. There was no context. That's all it was. And, <laughs> like, bruh, there is no more context that is needed. I showed what needed to be shown, and you're telling me, oh, they need a bit more context. Like, no, they don't. And how the fuck can you even tone on your friend like that? How can I turn on my friend for doing a shitty action? Oh, I know, right? How could you possibly turn on someone that you are friends with for doing something that's just blatantly shitty? Wow, you're such a fucking snitch. Ugh. Okay, so needless to say, that was torturous, and <laughs> I'm frankly getting lazy as... This video was is just not good in and of itself, and the points made were garbage. So honestly, giving it editing um, worth it's not worth giving my max editing effort on a response to a video like this, honestly. And overall, most of the points were easily arguable or just outright garbage, and. You really need to work on your building up your criticisms with proper pointing and just overall making them better and more structural rather than, oh, well, he does this and I don't like this, so bad. Like, it's, it's, that's not a good way of forming criticisms. And I get that you probably don't want to make a long video, but. You kinda have to, especially if you're criticizing a YouTuber who you know will respond. <sighs> Anyways, that's all to this video. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment, and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. See y'all next time. My heart is so cold, yeah. Like in the Arctic, you gon' need to dumb it down. I ain't a smart kid, you ain't never been my dog. So why you barking? Don't know why you run your mouth. You wouldn't start shit, you been going through a lot. You took some hard hits, always get back up though. We don't regard it. Pussy's always hating out because we heartless. Pussy's always hating out because we heartless. You think that you're alone just because you're in the darkness. I was stuck up in my thoughts, trapped inside a dark place. Yeah, I know it hurts a lot when you become the target. Drugs will get you high, got you soaring on a starship. Just put all that shit down, I still don't get why you got it. I say it's a cycle, but you still gotta restart it. Go to Vasey, I'ma prove it without Fargib. Calling me a rapper, I'm an artist. Mac, cause I ain't spitting, I'm just trying to make some chart hits. I ain't wanna leave, but I didn't, we departed. I've been gone so long.